Welcome back to channel. Today I am going to show you how you build an Excel based warehouse management system. This is not a full WMS but a practical prototype that demonstrates how Excel can be used to manage warehouse operation effectively. So why does this matter actually? Many small and mid sized business cannot afford expensive WMS software. We all know that. But they still need control over inventory, space and movement. So Excel can bridge that gap by providing a simple, flexible and low cost solution. So that is why we are going to understand how does this prototype can help you to create a working Excel warehouse management system. Let's start. So what actually you are going to get in this uh, Excel prototype? You will be getting uh, one item master which you have to manage that what are the items I am going to get into my warehouse. You must be having a list of it then you will be having a bin master so bin is something a uh, kind of location where you place your items if you have a big warehouse then you will be having a dedicated uh, zone or a location where you put a certain type of items then you will be having a transaction record sheet where you will be having grn and gdn so those who don't know what is grn and gdn grn is good receipt note and gdn is goods dispatch or delivery note so what exactly that mean uh, if something is coming into your warehouse, you will be recording it against ZRN and something is going out from your warehouse, you will be recording it against GDN. So, it, so this Excel actually take care of both how much item are coming into my warehouse and how much I am delivering or making a outward delivery. Again, so in order to take this uh, thing in account, you need to check that after getting some item and delivering some of them what's the stock balance so there's another sheet for that and then we are going to create a dashboard certain kpis like uh, this where we have uh, uh, how much uh, value stock you have and then how many uh, sku this warehouse is managing and then how many items are running below the reorder point so that there is a immediate need in order to get them replenished then you have what are the top 10 items by the movements. It means uh, uh, how many items are you know moving fast, whether uh, they are coming in or they are going out. Okay, so this is very important KPI. This identify that uh, how much uh, uh, items are your fast mover, correct? How much are uh, the slow mover and this kind of stuff then you will be having your space utilization or zone utilization you will be having a dedicated space so you can commit to your uh, you know uh, supplier or your uh, replenishment uh, entity that okay you have uh, a space and you can actually accommodate any POs. and then you will be having an accuracy trend so accuracy trend is also very important it's just to analyze that uh, whatever entries you are doing are they correct or not or whether you are doing the uh, entries or not because this accuracy is against the physical count so what your system count is and what's your physical count when you are doing you know periodic audit of your inventory so these kind of uh, uh, actionable uh, insight you should get uh, when you are using a, a warehouse management system so yeah the idea of this dashboard is just to analyze that uh, where the problem are what the current health of warehouse what are the key SKUs and how much uh, this system is effective by checking the accuracy trend so let's start from the basic data okay what actually uh, need as a data point in order to start this actual sheet so let me start with the item master so item master is the basic sheet where you need to list down all of your items what the description is and which category they belongs to what's the unit cost uh, when you are starting this sheet for a particular month then what's your opening stock and you must be having a reorder point the point at which you need to raise an order in order to get it replenished okay so this is the basic item sheet here i have used uh, a normal nomenclature like item one two and three and their descriptions so the, uh, it is just a prototype but you can use it you can when you are going to use it you can put your own data okay then there is a second sheet called bin master in the bin master we have multiple bins or a location where a particular item is placed so each bin generally has an item assigned okay let's say you will be having multiple bins in this case i have let's say i have 30 bins 
and each of the bin is assigned to a particular zone so generally your warehouse is uh, you know uh, classified into particular zones zones means a uh, receiving zone dispatching zone correct and classifying zone there are multiple zones inside a warehouse uh, which are dedicated to a particular function so you can have a zone by the function you can have zone by the way you want to place uh, your item and these kind of stuff so there are multiple ways to put down a uh, zone against any bin and then you will be having a bin capacity and then you will be assigning a particular item so let's say you have this uh, bin 002 at zone d which is assigned to item 005 and what's the current quantity in the bin with the opening stock you can check let's say it is 86 right now okay so when you're starting your month in your warehouse management system you will be entering these uh, entries in order to just initiate your operations uh, the you can see there are some uh, blank uh, assign items correct uh, it is purposefully because uh, it's not that you always uh, uh, put all of your bin assigned to a particular item generally you have some uh, you can say uh, a bin which can accommodate any kind of item in case of excess receive correct so generally you have some uh, some bins empty uh, they are not assigned they are variable they can accommodate any of the uh, item uh, so that you know if there any excess receive is happening and somebody or as a strategy we are pushing some uh, stock to a warehouse so then you can utilize all of these empty bins anyway so now come to the main part which is the transactions so let's say this is a list so here we have a transaction sheet this is an important sheet so whenever any transaction is happening in your warehouse you are going to use this sheet as a main data entry sheet okay so what are the columns it has it has what's the transaction date what is the transaction type uh, which po uh, or uh, reference number for that delivery okay if it is get if you are getting it replenished from something uh, against some po you will be having a po number if you are having any sto or the stock transfer order you will be having some sto number here so whatever uh, uh, reference id or a po id or sto id you are going to receive you are going to put it here then there is item code item code yeah so what item you are going to receive or what item you are going to dispatch and from which bin you are going to dispatch it what was the quantity in in case of g d n it will be quantity out because it's a good delivery note and or dispatch note and if it is a quant uh, it is a grn in case of grn it will be uh, what quantity which is coming in because it is good receipt note okay and if you have any special remark around it okay that it is a uh, it's a stock kind of uh, entry or it is a you know high value order or you can also have some remark like okay uh, it's a rush order which need to be you know handled carefully or uh, on priority and this kind of stuff you can you can check out okay anyway so this is your uh, uh, transaction uh, sheet and then against your transaction sheet you will be have a stock balance sheet so in your stock balance what do you have you have all the item listed and their description what their opening stock is and it this opening stock can be taken from the item master when you are starting correct and then uh, you will be having what is the total in total out what's the closing stock and then unit cost and multiply by uh, uh, this unit cost you will get the value and what is your reorder point so if your closing stock is below your reorder point then this will highlight and it means there is a need to replenish that order and then there is a movement movement is uh, which is sum of how much uh, the item come in and how much the item go out so it's a sum of both so how does this uh, matter this movement movement is something that we just need to record that which item is moving fast whether it is coming in or going out so that we need to pay attention for that item that uh, it is a fast moving item and the stock should be there and if there is any situation where it is going below rop then we need to raise this alarm to the authority that okay this is a fast moving item and we need to replenish it as soon as possible so this kind of action you can take so how this transaction and stock balance sheet communicate with each other so let's go to the transaction again uh, let's say something new is again you are receiving so let me just copy this uh, uh, entry so i am going to uh, create a new entry uh, let me copy this and yeah so let me just delete this okay so let's say uh, on the same day again i am going to receive uh, 
some item. So I will be selecting GRN here. Okay. So I think you can have this list by some data validation rule. You must be aware of it. Uh, if you click here, you will get some data validation and you just need to check. Okay. What is the uh, GDI, GDN or GRN? What kind of list you want to create? You can create it anyway. So then you have created this uh, GRN and GDN. And let's say you are going to receive some item here against a particular PO. Let's say the name is uh, PO 8778. And let me just tell you that. Okay. Let's say you are going to receive this PO against the item number three. Okay, so just want to show you how does this work. Uh, if I go to stock balance and go for the item number three, there is opening stock of 432, but there is no in and no out. So that is why closing stock is this one. And uh, there is no movement. Okay, if I'm going to receive any PO against it, I am going to select it like uh, item three. Uh, let me check that. Okay, let's say there is a bin call uh, bin 04. And then I'm going to uh, make an entry that I have received 100 quantity of this uh, good okay as soon as i'm doing this the stock balance sheet will automatically get updated okay you, you can see that this total in is 100 and now the closing balance is also uh, 532 and now the movement is happened of 100 quantity okay so you are getting this correct so as soon as you are making any entry in your warehouse management system whether it is a receipt or it is a, a gdn or grn and the stock balance will automatically get update for that particular month. And this is how you are going to take care of the value on your closing stock at any point of time within that month. And you will be also having uh, a real time update around the your reorder points, whether you need to replenish that item or not. Okay. So now uh, this is how these two uh, sheet interact. And I think uh, I just tell you that, okay, it is very easy to uh, create these kind of formulas and, uh, you know, uh, how to closing a stock, what is out and end, everything it's, it is very easy. Basically, it's a basic, simple Excel formulas. Now move to the calculation part of it. So once uh, user are, you know, getting habitual of using this, they are putting some entries and then uh, they are checking the stock balances as well. And they are using this sheet to, uh, you know, create uh, some action. Uh, according to the ROBs and all, uh, a super user want to check that what's the health of my warehouse. So for that, we need to create a dashboard like this. And in order to create a dashboard like this, you need to do certain calculations. If I go to the calculation part, uh, I have created some basic calculation, but if you have some other KPIs, you can also use that like inventory turns and all, but I just use some basic KPI for a, you know, a regular uh, use of a warehouse system. So you will be having let's say towards the total stock value it will it is also coming from a stock balance what's the total sq count and then what's the total item which are below reorder point and then what's your movement uh, and how it is happening for the closing stock and uh, then there is another very interesting thing which is a uh, your accuracy trend so how does this accuracy trend work so let's say you will be having a, a, you know physical count uh, so there is generally audit in a warehouse. What my physical count against what is my system count. So what usually happen because this is a manual entry, uh, with, and this entry is bound to get uh, some errors. Okay. So in order to verify that uh, at starting of each of month we do a physical count and we check that okay uh, is my physical count of items is matching with the system count whatever I'm maintaining in this Excel. Correct. So in that case, uh, you know, you will get the actual uh, uh, reality that whatever you are maintaining in the system is actually uh, reflecting into the uh, floor of the warehouse. So there are certain value will, you will be having for the past month, but for the current month, you will, you can have, uh, uh, you know, the stock balance from the, from the sheet only. And now you can check that what the accuracy is. So the accuracy can be on the either side. Let's say you will be having more uh, at the warehouse what your system says this it is inaccurate if you check in the month of april you have 23000 as a physical count which is actually available inventory in a warehouse but your system count is 22000 only okay so how does this work uh, it is saying that okay you are having excess in the uh, what system is talking about this it is inaccurate in case of uh, uh, having lower than the system count, if you check the month of May, you have 20,000 as a physical count, but your system count say it is 23,000. So you are having lower inventory at the warehouse floor uh, against your system count. Still, it is a 
lower accuracy. This work as a forecast accuracy kind of uh, formula. It's a very easy formula. You can check it here. Then what is the space utilization? That what was your uh, occupied uh, uh, warehouse capacity for a particular zone? And uh, then uh, you can use it from the uh, from the bin master sheet. And what is your total capacity? And then the, then what is your utilization percentage? So this is also very important that you need to check that okay if I am uh, running with a particular zone with a high utilization, it means there is a time to increase the size of that uh, zone. Okay, and let's say there are two zones. One is always underutilized, and there's another zone which is always overutilized. It means you need to uh, increase the capacity of the overutilized zone, and you need to reduce the capacity of the underutilized zone. Okay, so after using all of these KPI, we can easily create this kind of dashboard, which will be talking about that. Okay, this is the total stock value. This is the value which this warehouse hold, and these are the total SKU which are under control. These are the uh, number of SKU which require immediate attention in terms of replenishment, and then you will be having these are the top ten items uh, which are moving fast in this warehouse, which means that uh, uh, this item zero to eight is a is a fast moving item. And let's say you can say this item 038 not so fast or it can be a runner uh, kind of stuff. So yeah, so you can actually uh, take care of this that okay, how much uh, uh, items I am controlling and how they are behaving in terms of sales. And then you will be having this zone utilization where you can check that okay, which zone is working good or bad. And then you have accuracy, which I told you, let's say from the April, you were running high on the accuracy, but uh, it seems that it is uh, uh, going down till July. It means your process control was not very good. But after that, you might took some action and it increased to 98% and then again it is going down. So there might be some attention you need to pay in order to record each of the transaction which you are doing in the warehouse. So great. So this is how you can create all of this uh, warehouse uh, management dashboard and uh, it will help you to manage your, all of your inventory and uh, it will also help you to take decisions on the basis of uh, uh, this sheet that okay which order you want to replenish which item are of serious concern correct and which are the important item which are low value item and this kind of stuff so yeah this is a basic sheet and you can use it for your own if you want this excel template i will attach it uh, in the description you will get it uh, at a very very small uh, price and uh, yeah i think if you need any other uh, excel tutorial um, i am ready to help just suggest uh, any topic and please do like share and subscribe if you uh, like this kind of videos thanks thank you for watching